In a story you'll see only on KTSM, we're hearing from a family member of the man they say was shot and killed by police last week during a standoff in West El Paso. KTSM 9 News reporter Tirza Ortiz is live with emotional words from his sister and what crisis experts recommend for family members seeking support for their loved ones in similar situations. Tirza. That's right, Estella. Well, 27-year-old Martin Herrera's sister said her brother and mother had just moved to El Paso 10 days before the incident, saying that they were looking for a fresh start and somewhere her brother could feel safe, given he had been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Yeah, he had bipolar 1 disorder, where he would see things and he would um, completely black out and not know where he was. Olivia Mercado says her brother, Martin Herrera, experienced crises twice before in different states, but was hospitalized for treatment. Last Thursday, she said her family called El Paso police for help, thinking they would admit the 27-year-old, but that was not the case. As the incident remains under investigation, Mercado says she wants other families to understand the gravity mental illnesses can have on loved ones. But he hasn't been on medicine, and... Um... He didn't like the way it made him feel. He didn't believe he was like sick. He thought that it was the cause of severe stress or like having a hard life. He wasn't really aware that he was like really sick. My mom really didn't have full control over him. Like she didn't have it on him on disability or anything because she didn't fully understand the illness and she didn't fully believe that he was like sick. KTSM reached out to Emergence Health Network for advice family could use if their loved one is facing a mental health crisis. In a statement to me, Director of the Crisis Intervention Team, Rhonda Russ, said, quote, Establishing that trust and support with the loved one who is diagnosed with a mental illness is important, and knowing when their behavior is off baseline or unusual is vital. Russ went on to say it's important to know the signs of a mental health crisis, which can include hearing voices, decreased need for sleep, racing thoughts, and paranoia. All things Mercado said her brother experienced leading up to his death. She says she wishes things would have been different and said the behaviors her brother showed leading up to the shooting wasn't who he was as a person. In his normal state, he, like, the only thing that I can think about him is just smiling. He had a huge, beautiful smile, and he was a very nice person. This is not him at all. I know for a fact that he was sick, and three days before this incident, we were basically begging El Paso Police Department to help him. Now, EHN does have a crisis hotline for people who are going through emotional distress or who might be going through a mental health crisis. That number you can see on your screen right now. However, they do recommend still calling 911 if you believe someone is experiencing erratic, dangerous, or showing aggressive behavior. For now, live in West El Paso, Tears Ortiz, KTSM 9 News. Tears, thank you very much. And also thank you to Olivia Mercado for sharing that with us today. Uh, multiple investigations are ongoing from this incident by EPPD and Texas Rangers and the Police Department's Internal Affairs Shooting Review Team. And we'll keep you updated on air and online as this story continues to develop.